set to go. Jockeys. And they're racing. And away to a good start, too, on the outside. Confront is the first to begin. Goes on in the early stages by two lengths to Cape Blanco, the inside. Right in the centre is Harbinger. Then follows uh, Workforce, the outside. Pink cap, Daria Khanna settles second last and three or four lengths to Hume Zane. Going through the first furlong and a half, and the pacemaker doing his job well here. Confront crosses over to the inside rail to lead by two lengths to in second place Workforce up on the outer. Then Cape Blanco tucked away. Followed then by Harbinger and Daria Akana and uh, they were nicely clear of Hume Zane as they all the time running down to Swinley Bottom now in the King George. On the inside, still the leader is Confront, out in front by a length. Workforce has settled into a nice racing rhythm in second. Up on the outside there of in third place, Cape Blanco, the Irish Derby winner. They're followed next in the field by Harbinger, who's nicely uh, poised in fourth position. Further back, Daria Akana and Hume Zane, both at the tail of the field as they race out of Swinley Bottom now and still out in front as Confront front for Richard Mullen, setting a sensible pace and maybe increasing the tempo slightly as they start to pull uphill now by three lengths. To in second place, Cape Blanco has enjoyed a charmed run on the inside of Workforces in a perfect position, the favourite. A length and a half to Harbinger, sitting behind his stable mate. Two lengths away, Hume Zane and Daria Khanna still at the tail as his sixth run of field pull up towards the half mile now and it's uh, on the inside. It's work. It's uh, out in front, confront followed then by Workforce, who's up on the outer pink cap of uh, Cape Blanco. They're followed then by Harbinger, then Daria Khanna and Yum Zane. Now he's working hard on the favourite, trying to get that extra uh, bit out of him now as they come around the home turn. It's confront out in front by two and a half legs. Now Cape Blanco, first to go and trying to ease between them and does so as well as they round the turn. So it's confront who's now uh, starting to give way and Cape Blanco call on for an effort. Workforce under the weapon. Harbinger poised on the outside has raised up very quickly inside the two Harbinger has raced past the Derby winner and the Irish Derby winner he's taken it up the older horse Harbinger's gone four links in front further back then is Cape Blanco as they race up now with half a full and left to go and Harbinger is drawing right away he's going to win by a street Harbinger wins the King George by the best part of ten links in second Cape Blanco in third then is Hume Zane followed by Daria Khanna, Workforce and Confront. Well, what an astounding victory by the older horse. The older Sir Michael Stout trained runner, Harbinger, has won the King George and won it in brilliant style. Absolutely cruising at the top of the home straight. Olivier Pellier sitting there so confidently and Harbinger has won the King George in the style of a champion. As they cross the line, Harbinger is the winner. And it'll be very interesting to hear the judge's official distance. It looked like 10 lengths, but we'll wait for the official verdict on that. But it is a street. Second, K. Blanco, the Irish Derby winner. Third, Hume Zane. Yet another placing in this race. Daria Khanna in fourth. In fifth, Workforce. And then a long gap to confront the uh, pacemaker. So, a stunning win by Harbinger in this King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes. An absolutely stunning victory. And we check the 1, 2, 3. Harbinger at 4 to 1, ran a time of 226.78. 226.78. Harbinger, owned by High Clare Thoroughbreds, trained by Sir Michael Stout, ridden by Olivier Pellier, second Cape Blanco, Colm O'Donoghue, and third, Hume Zane, Richard Hughes. Harry, Harry. Harry Herbert receiving congratulations. Harry, tears in the eyes. Don't, 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 don't feel bad at all. This is a great moment. We just wanted to get a little sample of what it's like for you. It's... It's just such an ambition for everybody, you know, it's, it's, it's whether it's the, the stable team and Sir Michael and all of his group or whether it's um, us at High Clear and all my team who work so hard, the owners who put so much money and, you know, into it, it comes down to suddenly being dealt the card that you've dreamt of all your life and, um, and, and this is it and right now it's happened and, and I've, you know, I just, for everyone out there, you know, get, get, 
you don't have to get in with Heike, but get into racehorse ownership because I promise you it brings grown men to down to their knees with tears and this is the best moment of my life. Bar, bar motivator winning the I'm derby. I was just going to say, I mean, motivator winning the derby would be right up there. I mean, you seem even more emotional today. It's high clear and, you know, it's the blue silks. Very well done. And this horse, Harbinger, has tranced them in a new course record. We had a record breaker coming here in Workforce. We've seen another one now. He was traveling so easily through the race. And that High Clear Thoroughbred racing team, a whole syndicate of owners, all of them paying a fraction what it would cost if you tried to own a horse like this on your own. They started celebrating miles from home because it was so obvious, Willie, that he was going to win this. He was always cruising. They went a very, very good, strong gallop. Oliver Pellier was always sitting there going very easily. Uh, Ryan Moore decided to just be a length behind his pacemaker, make it into a strong gallop. He thought he was riding a horse that would gallop right to the end, like he did at Epsom, but unfortunately he hasn't done that today. But this, I cannot say how well, surprised, but how good a performance this looks. This looks absolutely an absolutely performance. He's propelled himself into be one of the best horses in the whole wild world, this Dan Silly Colt. Uh, so you would have to say he's going to win the Arc de Triomphe. He is now as sh short as even money favourite. The best price you will get is two to one Harbinger for the Arc. And, and that team of owners are going to get another big day out because what a horse to own. I mean, Pe Pellier's had to do nothing but pat him. The, the most you know, energetic thing he did to the horse was pat him. Uh, 